welcome to Virtual Storytime. My name is Yvonne and I'm a librarian with LA County Library. I'm so glad you can join us today. Who is ready for story time? Why don't we begin with a song? Who's ready to clap, stomp, and sing with me? This is called, If You're Ready for a Story. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Excellent. Our first story time book of the day is called Do Not Go In There by Ariel Horn, read with permission from Macmillan Books. Do you have a best friend? Even though we love our best friends, do we sometimes disagree with them too? Yeah? Well, let's see what these two funny looking friends are up to. All right, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, Bogart and Morton didn't always see eye to eye on things. Do not go in there, but that gold doorknob is so shiny. I want to touch it. There's probably a scary wolf with beady eyes who eats bunnies for supper in there. But look how red that door is. Ooh, what if it's like a scratch and sniff sticker and it smells like candy? Can you tell what kind of fruit this is? Those look like cherries, don't they? Trust me, do not go in there. There's got to be a wolf behind that door. There's always a scary wolf in these kinds of stories. No, no, no. This is a happy kind of story with a happy ending. I bet there are fireworks and party balloons behind that door. And robots who are in a robot band. How many robots do we have in the robot band over here? Let's count them. One two, three, very nice. And what shape heads do these robots have? That's right, the robots have square heads. Do not go in there. Maybe that scary wolf was lonely, so he invited his evil twin to join him and they're collecting every fork in the world, so there are lots of pointy things in there and you could get hurt. Is it like a fork fortress with a gun gumdrop castle? I bet there is a chocolate syrup moat with graham cracker boats. So one friend is imagining that there's scary bad stuff in there and the other friend is imagining it's a delicious chocolatey world in there. No, the forks are for the spaceship the wolf and his twin are building. Once they eat all the bunnies on Earth, they will have to look for bunnies on other planets. Maybe there is a spaceship in there with buttons that we can press. No, there are wolves. Do you hear me? There are wolves. Not wolves, puppies. Soft, snug. Snuggly, soft, cuddly puppies going into outer space for the very first time with names like Captain Chewy and Mr. Slappy with puppy-sized space helmets. Wouldn't you like to go to a planet full of puppies? I sure would. You cannot go in there. The scary wolf and his evil twin spaceship probably just caught fire and the fire will spread if you open the door. Ooh, fire, but we can make s'mores. If the, spy, if the fire spreads, 
We're all doomed. But if we stop the fire, we are all saved. And there might be a carnival with those spinning rides that make us dizzy. Or a magic wand that can make us invisible. Or a room where we can color all over the walls with permanent markers. Let's go in there. That is the end with the red door and the gold doorknob. So what we learn from don't go in there is sometimes two people can have wildly different thoughts about one thing. It doesn't mean that one person is right and the other person is wrong. It just means that our brains all think in different ways, different crazy ways. So let's don't go in there. So speaking of friends, our finger play of the day celebrates friends. This one is called Two Little Friends. Feel free to follow along at home. Wiggling and moving our hands is a really great way to build strong hand muscles and fine and gross motor skills. Okay, so this is Two Little Friends. Two little friends are better than one and three are better than two, and four are much better still. Just think what one, two, three, four little friends can do. Should we try that again, but use our other hand? Let's try it again using our other hand. Here, are you ready? So, Two little friends are better than one, and three are better than two, and four are much better still. Just think what one, two, three, four little friends can do. Great. So can you name the first hand that you used? Was it your left hand or your right hand? So for me, I used my left hand first, and then after that, I used my right hand. So did you use your left hand or your right hand first? Good job identifying left and right. Next, we are going to name some insects. Mm, let's see. How many different kinds of bugs do you think you can name? Do you know the names of any kinds of bugs? Have you ever seen a spider before? You probably know the song, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout, so you know spiders. What about ants or ladybugs or flies or mosquitoes or grasshoppers or even cockroaches? So how many different kinds of bugs can you name? Okay, so we are going to be using this little spider today for our felt story. It is called The Spider in the Web. It might sound a little familiar to you because we will be singing this to this in the tune of The Farmer in the Dell. Okay. The spider in the web, the spider in the web, Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin the spider in the web. The spider eats a fly. The spider eats a fly. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin the spider in the web. The Spider eats a grasshopper. The spider eats a grasshopper. Spin, spin, oh, watch him spin the spider in the web. The spider eats a ladybug. The spider eats a ladybug. Spin, spin, a watch.
watch him spin the spider in the web. So next we have a rhyme set to another tune that you might find familiar. It's called I'm a Little Froggy. Let's see if you can name that tune. So it's a tune that you already know, but we're singing different words with it. Are you ready? See if you can guess. See if you can guess it. Okay. I'm a little froggy swimming in the pool. The water's great, so nice and cool. When I get all cleaned up, I'll, I'll hop squeaky clean from bottom to top. I'm a little froggy on a lily pad, catching flies so I won't be sad. When I finally catch one, I'll gobble it up. Then back in the water, I'll kerplop. Can you name that tune? That's right, that is I'm a Little Teapot. Very nice. Would you like to sing I'm a Little Teapot too? All right, let's do I'm a Little Teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Yay, very nice. Okay, so our next story time book today is called Friday Night Wrestle Fest by J.F. Fox, read with permission from Macmillan Books. Can you name the letters on the shirts that the people are wearing on the cover? So I see uh, two sideways J's over here. I see a little bit of a B there. It might be hard to see because his arm is in the way. And then in the middle, I see a big D. Can you guess what a D might stand for? I think maybe if you guessed D for daddy, that seems like it'd be right. But let's find out if D does stand for daddy. So this is Friday Night Wrestle Fest by J.F. Fox. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday night. Wow, these, 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 this family is very lucky because they're getting pizza on a Friday night. That's right, school is out, dinner was pizza. Can we count how many pairs of shoes and socks we have up here? So we have one, two, three, four, and then there's one more pair here, five. So we have five pairs of shoes and socks. And best of all, it's time for Friday Night Wrestle Fest. So the main event, battle to bedtime, battle to the bedtime. In this corner, it's Dangerous Dad, ooh. He's mad, he's bad, he's dad. Over on the kid crew, we have the tag team twins featuring the nutty by nature peanut brother and the weak, wriggly, giggly jellyfish. So we have, oh, so now we know D is for Dangerous Dadu, PB is for Peanut Brother, and J is for Jellyfish. With special guest star, Big Ball Baby. Let's get ready to wrestle. Kicking things off tonight is Jellyfish. She lands a jumping jelly flop on her poor old pop. Now Peanut Brother is piling it on with a blasting butter bump. Yes, sir, dangerous daddy is smacking a wham bam jam sandwich. Peanut, but peanut, peanut brother and jelly. The tides and tentacles quickly turn. Do you know what a tentacle is? 
So if you've ever seen a jellyfish or an octopus, they have lots of squirmy tentacles. So you see that she has some tentacles on her costume. Dangerous Dadu snatches jellyfish in a squishy squid squeeze. Tentacles, did you say? Can we do tentacles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Ten tickles. Peanut Brother spins in to help his sis with the swirling shark clone. Totally awesome. Dangerous Dadu fights back, dishing out some seriously slobbery codfish kisses. Did somebody order the fish and lips? But hold the tartar sauce. What's going on? Out from nowhere, it's the flying mom bomb. That's right, folks. The one, the only, Mama Rama has entered the ring. She's home from work and going berserk. Are two grown-ups too many for the tag team twins? Does this mean Betty bye-bye for the kid crew? Dangerous Dadu looks like he's got this one in the bag. But hold the banana phone. Could it be? What do you think is going to happen next? Mama Rama is joining forces with the kid crew. Dangerous Dadu's been double-crossed. It's a perfect parent trap. Bedtime looks bleak. Dadu is da done. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing can save him now. Nothing except Big Ball Baby and uh Clear the room diaper of doom. Uh-oh, something stinky is going on in that diaper. After a quick bedtime blitz, jammy jam, brush and flush, book and tuck, this wrestle fest has officially become a nestle fest. It's Friday night lights out for the kid crew. Good night from the arena until next week's Friday night wrestle fest. Everybody sleeping. Good night. So that Friday night wrestle fest. We are singing a fun action song today that will get our bodies moving. It's called this is the way we clap our hands, and it's an awesome way to get the wiggles out while learning about self-control. So, can you clap your hands? Can you stomp your feet? Are you all ready to go? All right. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. How about stomping those feet? This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. What about turn around? This is the way we turn around, turn around, turn around. This is the way we turn around so early in the morning. How about a big old stretch? This is the way we reach and stretch, reach and stretch, reach and stretch. This is the way we reach and stretch so early in the morning. What about wave hello? This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. That was some great waving and stretching, everybody. 
It's now time to say goodbye with a song. So let's all practice our goodbye waves. We did our hello waves. Now it's time for our goodbye waves. Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over, so wave goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed virtual story time. Join us again soon for another story time. Remember to visit our website and our YouTube channel for more programs and activities. Bye for now. Bye for now.